Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Mike, and in this video tutorial, I'm not gonna be showing you how to do any sort of graphics or anything. I'm actually gonna be showing you how to get the best commentary that you can out of a program for free called Audacity. So Audacity is similar to Adobe Audition if you're familiar with that. Um, but if you're familiar with that, you're probably not messing with Audacity. Um, I use Audacity even though I have, I have Audition only because Audacity is a lot easier to use. But I'm just gonna be showing you, if you're just starting out, maybe you're doing commentaries or anything like that, just how to get the best quality audio you can out of Audacity. So here we are, we have this uh, audio clip here. Um, I'll, let, I'll let you listen to it just so you can hear what it sounds like. Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike and in this video we're going to be discussing just how to affect the audio on this track. So you can tell that the audio is pretty good, but it's a little flat and it's a little it's a little low in volume. Um, so what we're gonna do first, oh, by the way, there's also some background noise. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna one, wanna talk very clearly and as close to the mic as you possibly can without getting a lot of threshold. I turn the gain down on my microphone. Um, if you have that, I turn it down pretty low um, because I'm really close to my microphone and it's still not very loud, which I kind of want because it preserves a lot of detail and I don't get a lot of background noise. But in this example, I've got an air conditioner running I've got a little bit of background noise over here so what you're going to do is you're going to make sure your recording has has a little bit of extra extra time without any any noise from you at all so that way you could just select a little portion come up to effect down to noise reduction and get noise profile so what this does you're basically telling telling the program listen this is background noise and I want you to remove it so it just get up got a profile for the background noise now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select click away come back to effect, noise reduction, and just hit okay. And basically what that did is it now has removed all of the noise from any of the pauses, pause areas, but it's also removed it across the board. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. So now what I'm gonna to wanna to do is because it's so flat, I wanna add some trouble and some bass to it. So I'm gonna go come back to effect again, equalization. Select this curve, and it was already selected on bass boost, but you might need to click bass boost and just hit OK. The regular settings are fine. And then I'm gonna do the same thing again, effect, equalization, and come down to trouble boost. So now when you listen to it, um, you'll be, you should be able to hear a world of difference. Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike, and in this video we're gonna be discussing just how to affect the audio on this track. So you should have been able to tell that the, that the audio had a lot more meat to it. It sounded a lot um, heavier, it sounded a lot deeper, and, that, and it got a real nice studio sound to it. So the last thing we need to do is because it's a little low, we just wanna increase the volume across the board, make sure we even out a lot of these low points. You're not gonna be talking directly into the mic perfect distance the whole time. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna come back to effect again, compressor, just hit okay, and then effect, normalize and okay. This is set to negative three. Yours might be a little different. I just set it to negative three. And then I'm gonna come up again to effect compressor and hit okay. So hopefully by now the audio should sound a lot better. Let's hear what it sounds like. Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike and in this video we're gonna be discussing just how to affect the audio on this track. And there you go, it's really that easy. It's just basically understanding what exactly you need to do. One, you need to level out the audio, and two, you need to, you need to completely raise the audio across the board, um, along with adding the treble and bass effects before you go ahead and do that. Make sure you remove the noise, you do noise removal as well. So anyways, guys, that was just the tips that I use to get good sounding audio in Audacity. You could even come through it again and remove the, the background noise again because again, when we boosted everything, it even boosted a little bit of the, of the residual background noise. So you can give that a try, see what that sounds like. Sometimes it affects the, 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 the audio a little too much, um, but you could definitely give it a try and see what that sounds like. Um, I'm pretty happy with it personally because um, I could always just remove this last portion and the audio itself sounded really good. So anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you wanna see more, subscribe. Be sure to check out my other tutorials with the program After Effects um, if you want to see more. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.